First Lady of the Republic of Botswana, Her Excellency Mrs. Neo Jen Masisi. Thank you very much, Director of Ceremonies. My dear sisters, Your Excellencies, African First Ladies, Chairman of Merck Foundation Board of Trustees, Professor Frank Stangenberg Havercamp, CEO of Merck Foundation, Senator Dr. Rasha Kellet, Merck Foundation Partners, the Diplomatic Corps who are here. And let me thank and acknowledge our High Commissioner who's representing Botswana for being here and any other High Commissioners who are here. The alumni, distinguished guests, and the media, a very good morning to you all. Let me start off by thanking the government of India and the community of Mumbai for so graciously hosting us in this special city. This gives us the more reason for going back and telling others, and more importantly, for us coming back. As an ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother, it is such a great honor and pleasure to be part of the 10th edition of the Merck Foundation Africa Asia Luminary. I would like to commend Merck Foundation on its sixth anniversary for organizing yet another remarkable conference which has drawn participants from over 70 nations across Africa, Asia, and across the globe. Let me also take this opportunity to thank my dear sisters for sharing success stories, highlighting the great impact in your respective countries, which is, a direct, which is as a direct result of our partnership with Merck Foundation. My country, Botswana, has also benefited greatly from this outstanding partnership established in 2018 when I became First Lady of my country. At a continental level, the combined impact of these milestones, particularly in the area of health, has brought about a significant contribution to positive health outcomes in our countries as we strive towards achievement of Sustainable Development Goal 3. Our collective efforts have also effect effectively contributed to breaking infertility stigma and working towards ending gender-based violence. Since 2019, to date, Merck Foundation has extended more than 41 scholarships to doctors in Botswana, covering a wide range of specialty areas. The scholarships were coordinated through our Ministry of Health, and these were integ integrated as part of the training plan in the ministry. This initiative has not only added value to healthcare delivery in our public healthcare sector, but has also contributed to building the capacity of our healthcare workers. Before I highlight these scholarships, may I ask past recipients who are here and who have excelled and who have been invited by Dr. Rasha Kelish to stand up and smile and say thank you to Merck Foundation. The 41 scholarships covered the following areas. 18 scholarships have been provided for one year postgraduate diploma and a two year master degree in diabetes, endocrinology and obesity and weight management, which contributes significantly to improving diabetes and hypertension care. In all this, this will serve to improve the management of NCDs in our country, which continue to pose a burden on our healthcare systems. NCDs in Botswana account for about 46% of total deaths. Furthermore, the economic cost of NCDs to the economy is estimated at US dollar 1.2 billion per year, which is equivalent to almost 6% of the country's annual gross domestic product. When we look at this number closely, ladies and gentlemen, in our sort of countries, this number points at a road, it points at feeding children, it points at education, educating children. So for us, it is quite substantial. Three scholarships have been provided to our doctors for the Oncology Fellowship Program at the Tata Memorial Center right here in India. One of our doctors has successfully completed the course and has since returned to Botswana to offer her services. This further earned to improved access to quality 
and equitable cancer care in our public health care sector. Three scholarships have been provided for acute medicine and two scholarships for respiratory medicine. Four scholarships have been provided for one postgraduate diploma, an MSc in dermatology, and one scholarship for postgraduate diploma in gastroenterology and internal medicine. In addition, 10 scholarships have been provided for hands-on training in embryology, an online one-year postgraduate diploma, and two-year MSc in sexual and reproductive care. These scholarships will go a long way in improving women, reproductive health, and fertility care, thus empowering women living with infertility stigma. Distinguished guests, it is most impressive that Merck Foundation remains consistently intentional in enhancing healthcare in the public sector across Africa, Asia, and other vulnerable communities worldwide. This adds to the development of our nations, and as they say, a healthy nation is a productive nation. Let me share recent personal testimonies from, our young, from some of our young doctors who benefited from Merck Foundation scholarships. There's unquestionable benefit at both the professional level, and that is benefits to our healthcare sector, in turn to our communities, and at the personal level, where the individuals aspire higher. Let me share these testimonies as they, as they actually admit that these scholarships has added value to their professional lives. One doctor says it has added skills that helped my, in the diagnosis and treatment of patients who present with gastrointestinal disorders, resulting in improved morbidity and mortality. The other says, with knowledge and skills gained at the MSc sexual and reproductive health level, I was able to manage patients and couples going through infertility. In addition to manning the specialized clinic single-handedly when the main specialist was not on duty. And ladies and gentlemen, let's just, as someone, as, the, as His Excellency from Malawi said, we should imagine villages. A lot happens in these villages. Imagine when she says she's handling the specialized clinic single-handedly. She means handling populations of up to about 20,000 on her own, and young as she is. One says she was more adept at managing patients and thus reducing the need for referrals to specialists, resulting in improved patient outcomes and efficient healthcare delivery in, in the community. Let me also add here that what it means in our typical community, it means that when you actually get a, an appointment with a specialist, sometimes it means waiting times or queuing for up to about eight months. So this is just to really put this into perspective, to say to all of you and to Mac Foundation, to say really, really, we appreciate all this. At the personal level, one says she had improved confidence as she dealt with these um, gastrointestinal disorders in an area who, where specialists and in endoscopy machinery were lacking. One said it had led to improved skill at research methodology to a point where she presented at a symposium attended by ministers of health and other policy makers. The last one says at a personal level, my story is a testament to the transformative power of continued education and specialization where greatest impact is felt in places with limited specialist resources. It has actually further motivated her to enroll for the Master, of Medi Master in Medicine Public Health Program, focusing on infertility, as it is a pressing health issue where comprehensive data is lacking. Merck Foundation provided 20 sewing machines towards our national GBV prevention campaign, and the main target were women-led groups who support GBV victims across Botswana in initiatives such as generating income through micro-projects. The result being improved livelihoods for those households and community at large who suffer from domestic violence. Similar to other countries, we have also launched together more than a mother awards for media, filmmakers, singers, and fashion designers 
to address a wide range of social issues such as breaking infertility stigma, supporting girl education, women empowerment, stopping gender-based violence at all levels. Let me say it is very impressive that in this case, we are using creatives to address development issues. Botswana, together with Met Foundation, recently conducted a health media training session virtually, and this training was meant to emphasize the critical role of media in educating society on these important social and health issues. These include promoting healthy lifestyles and raising awareness by providing perspectives that could shape how society views these issues, particularly infertility. The participants came from a wide range of sectors, including public and private media houses, academia, students, health experts, public health experts, monitoring and evaluation ex experts, and creators who use song and poetry to spread key messages. The next round of training will be offered in person during the second quarter of 2024. We are also launching more storybooks to address issues like supporting girl education, diabetes and hypertension awareness, and ending child marriage. These storybooks will be adapted as animation films in English and our local language, which will be a creative method to sensitize our children and communities for a better future. Let me once more take this opportunity to thank all stakeholders who continue to add value to our advocacy efforts, making it more meaningful as we serve our nations and our people. To our sisters who suffer from the hurt of infertility stigma, we care as ambassadors of Merck Foundation more than a mother. Please join us, sisters, as champions to this course, speaking against infertility stigma. Help us amplify your voices by sharing your lived experiences. No one can tell your stories better. Once again, I'd like to thank Merck Foundation for hosting us and for their valuable programs to advance our healthcare sector and raise awareness about sensitive issues such as infertility stigma, gender-based violence, and supporting girl education. This relationship is testament of how concrete partnerships lend themselves to long-term impactful results. Moreover, to you, Met Foundation, your responsiveness to our unique local issues as we continue the advocacy work in our respective countries is appreciated immensely. We thank you, shukran, danke schon. Trying a little bit of French, I mean, sorry, a little bit of German. The development of our human capital in the fields of education and health affirms that you truly care about the health and well-being of our people, our irreplaceable assets. Once again, happy anniversary, Merck Foundation, and thank you all for your attention, and please enjoy Mumbai. But come to Botswana also, please. <laughs> Botswana is waiting. Thank you.